Sefer Shabbos Chaf Hey. We should learn uh, for the Rufor uh, Shlema for Rechaim Ben Elena Shengel. We have a Rufor Shlema. We have a Rufor Shlema. Amen. 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 And everybody else. Amen. Amen. And everybody Amen. else, Rabbi Klein and yeah. all the other colleagues. Yeah. There's a lot of people. Ellie Berlin. Yeah, Berlin. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so we developed a number of reasons why we said it's usher to burn kachim on yontif. Um, Chizkiya said it was because of loisur sirim enuad boker, which baakos litein boker sheni can't burn it. On the 15th day of Nisan, you got to burn it on the 16th day. Why? Because it's also to burn Kodshim. Abayah said we learn it from Olas Shabbos B'Shabbato. That Olas Chol B'Shabbos, you can't burn Olas Chol B'Shabbos and Lo Olas Chol B'Yonti. Meaning you can't burn Kodshim on Yonti. Rava learned it from the Pasuk, Hula Vado Yehaseh Lachem. Only Molacha Oichel Nefesh can you do. Huvalo Machshirin. Uh, and Levada Velo Mila Shlobizma. Kavashi Omar Shabbat Shabbaton. Yontif is also called Shabbat Shabbaton, which Lahalacha means there's a mitzvah sase to be Shoyve San Yontif. Shvisa, there, there, you have to rest. It's an ase. Therefore, says the Gemara Havale Yontif, the ase Velo Sase, Yontif. Is now a combination of both an ase and a lotase. You have lot because it says lotase kom lacha, and then it says ase shabbat shabbaton, which is mitzvah shvisa, and then we have a principle: ein ase shol shreifas kachim doeches losase vease. Look at Rashi. The ein ase de baish tisrofu, right? There is a a concept that if Kachim have been puzzled, either through Nosar or through Tuma. There's a mitzvah that say So it's a mitzvah. So the 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 ain't say of Baish Tisrofu Dochi Yontif. The mitzvah of Asay to burn to burn Kachim Bipsul is not Dochi Yontif. Why? The Havi Lota Se So we know. The principle that we learn in Yavamis is the first four or five blood in Yavamis goes into can an ase be docha lotase? The answer is yes. That an ase is docha lotase. That's why we have the ase of Mila, e even though you have a lotase, if you have a baharet, if you have some tsaras on a piece of skin, you're not allowed to cut it off. There's a lotase of cutting it off until the coin looks at it. But if the Baharit is on these foreskin, the assay of Mila overrides the Lotase of cutting off the Baharit. So in most cases, an assay is Doicha a Lotase. Now, if you have a battle between a mitzvah, one mitzvah assay and another mitzvah assay, it does not Doicha the other mitzvah assay, except when the Torah tells you to do it. So if an assay cannot violate, and another assay, it certainly cannot override an ase, a combination of an assay and a lotase. So Rashi is telling us, since Yontif has the status of a lotase vase, now he, he adds something interesting here. Afa gab dad locus near be Yontif mlocha muterasi. What did we say? You can't use shemen sreifa, shemen that is truma that became tome, you can't use it for a locus near. So even on Lachas Snare is a permitted Melach on Yontif. Hoyl Vavaris Shar Kotchim She'ein Nenin Ba'em Nesorin. Other Kotchim that you don't have this permission to be Nene from it like we do here is also Gamzulo Yotzam and Akla. So they made a low plug. So here as well, even though you're allowed to light Ner Chanukah with Shem and Sreifa, you're not allowed to do. Okay. Vaito. So burning Kodshim, beyond the food of 
Habechol Shapir Gamli. But for example, to use Shem and Sreifa to light our candles on Monday and Tuesday, Lachora is permitted. My time, Amarav, Geshem Shemitzel Lisraf Akotchim, Shinit Mu'u. Just like we have a mitzvah saseh to burn kochim to became tomei, kach mitzvah lisrof is a truma shenitmes. We have a mitzvah to burn truma that became tomei. The amra toira bishas biura tani mimena. The Torah gave us permission to have hana from it. Eichan amra toira. Where did the Torah tell us that? Midrav Nachman. Amrav Nachman. Amrav Ravu. Amr Kra. I've given you this mishmeres of trumosai is plural. I gave you the permission, you the coin, to benefit from trumatohoira. And achas trumatmeya. For your use, for your benefit. Shelchatehe. Now, a coin cannot eat truma tmeya. So, must be la sika tachas tav shilecha. You can use it to use as fuel under your, under your cookery. Now, I'm just looking at the Sefer Dafa Chaim. The Rambam says, ha truma la coin ben tohor ben tmeya. You have to give truma to the coin, whether it's tohor in your hands or it's tom in your hands. Ernie, you Ernie. But, yes. Uh, uh, a Kohen would be the only one who could do the strafe of the Truma. You couldn't do that strafe. Correct. Only a Kohen. Because you as a czar is not allowed to benefit from Truma. Now, if you were sitting there with him, that would be permitted. Well, that you'd get an awe from it? If he's sitting there and he's getting an awe from it, if you're, you're just sitting there on God. But only, 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 only at, if you're learning out from the Pasuk, it seems like the Kohen is the only one who can get Hano from Truma. So even if you're sitting there, you wouldn't be able to get Hano from the, the, the one that's, that's, that's Nisra. How would you be able to get Hano? Even if you're sitting there, you can't get Hano. I'm, I'm going I'm to say, here's, the, here's what it says in Shulchan Aruch. It's forbidden to eat Truma Tmeya. When you burn it, if, let, let's say you burn Truma Tmeya, he can benefit from it. And it says, right, no, It seems like the Rambam Paskins that he can have. Okay, yeah. The Shulchan, I, I'm quoting the Shulchan Aruch. Yeah. It says, but Mm -hmm. Means if the Kohanim give you Rishus, you could use it even for Tzorchei Tzibor. So Walter asks good, but the Chura, we as long as he's benefiting, you can, you, now, it's certainly not the case if the coin has prepared a meal out of Truma and you as the non coin arrive, you can't eat from it. So Walter's correct, but but regarding Anna, since he's benefiting from it, you Agav can get it as well. I just want to say the Rambam uh, says, For example, even if it became Tommy before you were Mafrashit, so that's a very interesting Allah. That if in your possession, your produce had already became Tommy. You have to give it to the coin, so you offer it and give it to him. The coin benefit from it through its fuel. If it's dried wheat, he can use it in the oven. Then he says like this, the Rambam. So truma in Eretz Yisrael is noyeg. The Nevi'im made a takona that truma should be even b'chutz l'aretz. Shinar is like bavel. 
the Rav Yisrael Holchim the Shavim Sham, and the Rav Yisrael ended up, you know, being prisoner there. So there are some right in surrounding the area. Okay. Vaiter. So so far, this is a very interesting sugya. The dinim of why we're allowed to benefit from courtship. So uh, hold on. So, so uh, people who lived in Egypt. They, what, I, I guess, they, they kept it? People could, Egypt is right next to Yidin that lived in Egypt, as an example. I said, I said, the Rambam brings... I'm talking, so I'm just, that they keep it. The Rambam brought, And that was probably very uh, interesting to him, because he lived in Egypt. Fascinating. The Rambam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fascinating. Then it says, "We boy say, Mom, if you want, I'll tell you me Rabbi Vol." Rabbi Vol, Rabbi Yochanan, that you when you brought your bikurim, and then every three years you had to make a vidui meiser. Besides the vidui arami oved avi that you had to make a whole reading of a of a paragraph in Sefer in Dvorim Kisavo when you brought your bikurim, you also had to make a vidu meiser, and you said, "Lo biarti mimenu bitame, mimenu iatamavir." From regular meiser, I didn't burn. Avalatamavir shemen shol truma shenitmes, but I'm allowed to burn truma that became tame. Freight the Gemara ve'ema mimenu iatamavir, avalatamavir shemen shol koyde shenitma. Who says it refers to koyde? Truma that became Tomei. Maybe it refers to Shemen Shokoidish and Nitma and not Truma. So the Gemara says, we can't accept this because we love Kabachoimer. We have a Kabachoimer that prevent, teaches me this din. I don't need a Posik. What's the Kabachoimer? My Maser Akal, Maser is lenient compared to Kotchin. That you can't burn it unless it's Tomei. So, Meister, that it's Tomei, you can't burn. And also, Hegdus, you can't burn when it's Tomei. So, I don't need a Pasuk. So, I, so the Pasuk is, it, it teaches me about Truma. Gemara says, What do you mean? If you learn a Kabachoimer, Ihachi, Truma, not a Kabachoimer. What do you mean? Truma is also more machmir than Meiser. So you can learn the same Kalbachoimer. If the Meiser that is Osir Bana, you can't benefit from Meiser when you burn it, even though it's Tomei, certainly Truma as well. And therefore you should not have enough from burning Truma Tveya. So the more it says, HaKos of Mimenu. Because Mimenu, from it. That there must be that there's something that is ushered to benefit from the straight from when it's tome, but something that is permitted to burn, to, to have an offer. So the Gemara now asks a logical question. Umara Isa. Mara Isa means through logic, there's no, why did you reject Truma? Why did you reject Kachim and you learn Truma? You could have just logically reject Truma and learn Kachim. There's no reason one than the other. <laughs> so the Gemara says, no, we do have logic that we reject Kodshim and we bring Truma. What's that? Mistavra Kodesh Lomimi Itina. We're, we're going to keep Kodesh into the Isser that even if Hegdish is Tome, you're not allowed to benefit from it. Why? Shekane Simen Funk Akas. There are six aspects of Kodshim that are more Chomer than true. Let's go through them. Number one, Pigul, our old friend Pigul. So Pigul is when you have a Machshava, let's say during the Shechita of a Korban Shlomit or Korban Chattis. And you're supposed to be, you do the Zrika that day. But I have in mind to do the Zrika tomorrow, or you're supposed to do the Zrika in your Shalayim. And I have in mind to do the Zrik in Tel Aviv. So it's either Chutz Makom or Chutz And then I proceed to carry out 
the Kabbal of the Dab and I do the Zrika, but I had a Makshavas Pina. The din is if I eat a Kazayas of that Kachim, I get Kares. So there is no Ernie, such thing as. Ernie, yeah. I, I just, it, it's strange because all of this is talking about an Eretz Yisrael. And the fact that the Chachomim had the right to say Karov to Eretz Yisrael, where did they have the right? The Psukim specifically say that Kodesh and Truma and all this is only in Eretz Yisrael. Where did they have the right to, to come up with a Gzeira that you can even do it a Mukhle Eretz Yisrael? Where does that come from? So, by the way, this, this the Rambam is, is, from, is from Trumas. It, it's, it's, we have to learn. We have to learn up that Rambam. Why? First of all, they were takon. The Neviim. First of all, he says Neviim were ta, were were misakein, that even in Eretz Shina, because it's Samuch, the Rav Yisrael Holchin v'Shavim Sham. They most of Klai were taken prisoner there when Nebuchadnezzar took them there. Then he says in a later stage, Vachacham the Rishonim Itzkinu Shinogas Af Eretz Mitzrayim Eretz Amru Moyam. Now, we have to learn up. That's not our Gemara here. So I can't answer you, Walter. Okay, okay. We have to learn up that Rabbah, the Kesef Mishnah, the Magid Mishnah. He will give us the sources of where he, where he got that. Okay. Okay. Now, so we said, now we're trying to logically show that Kochim is more stringent than Truma. Why? There are six aspects of Kochim that are more, that, don't, that don't, are not knowing by Truma. Number one, pigul. <coughs> Number two, we said, is nice. noiser. Noiser is every hegdish, like a chatas, an ola, an osham, a, a korban pesach. They, they are 24 hour korbanis. You shech them in the morning, you do the zrikas adam during the daytime. You can eat of the meat if you're allowed to eat during the daytime. By next morning, 24 hours later, if any of the korban remains, that is noiser. So first of all, there's a lav to leave noiser over. Number two, if you eat a kazayas of that noiser, you get kares. Number three, there's a mitzvah saseh to burn that noiser. Those are the dinim of noiser. None of that exists by truma. So you have pigel and noiser. Then the... The kuf is korbin. Korbin The kuf is korbin. For, for, first, we're dealing with the, and it's a korbin meila. And so, korbin meila is if you benefit from any of the korbonois, at least the shavapruta, you are going to be high of meila. You're not allowed to benefit from Agdish. If you benefit from Agdish, you're over Me'ilah. You have to bring a Korban Asham as part of the Kapara for the Me'ilah. So the Kuf, the Pank, is the Korban, and the Ayin is the Me'ilah. Then the Chaf, the Kaf is Kores. The person who is Tome, who eats Korbanois, gets Kores. And an One, the, 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 it's Osir Bachila Lo'one. That's the Samech. That somebody who, whose close relative passed away, so until the burial, he's considered an Oni. He's not allowed to eat Kochim, Bo Bayom, when the mace dies. So there are six Dinim, none of that exists by Truma. You can eat Truma. Freik the Gemara, Adarabah Truma Lomimitna, Shekain Machpa Simen. The Gemara says there are aspects of Truma that are not knowing by Kochim. Number one, the Mem is Misa. That means somebody who is not permitted to eat Truma, like a Tsar, non and who eats it, the Mezid, it's Misa Bidei Shemaim. It's not Misa's Bezdin. Bezdin doesn't take you and kill you, but it's Misa Bidei Shemaim. Then, Ches is Choymesh. If you benefit, if, if you get, if the coin has Truma, and you steal it, and you eat from it, besides the fact that you get, you get Misa Bidei Shemayim, it's, it's, there's a Dine Mominus that you owe 100% of the value of what you destroyed, and you have to pay a fine of 20%. And it's, that's the Chaymish. The pay 
is pidyon, that there is no choymish by, by kodshim. Now, pidyon is by kodshim, let's say you have a shlomi, person dedicates a shlomi, and then it gets a mun. The din is, you can be poi to that animal, and you got to pay an extra 20%. If the animal is worth $1,000, you got to give $1,200. The kedush is transferred over to the money. The animal goes out l'chulun, and you can eat it. You can shecht it and eat it. And then you take the $1,200, you buy a new korban with it. There is no din of pidya uh, to allow a, a non-coin to eat it. Once it's hukdish uh, l'truma, that's it. It can't go out l'chulun. And the Zion is Asura Lazarin. A non kohen can never eat Truma, but a non kohen can eat Kochim. For example, the Balabatim would eat a Shlomim. The Balabatim who brought a Korban Shlomim can eat from the Shlomim. So, the, but, and so you can't eat, a Zar cannot eat Truma, but a Zar can eat Kochim. So in these aspects, the Truma is more stringent. The Gemara answer is Hanach Nefishan. You have six against four. Kochim had six. Four had, had uh, Truma had four, six trumps four, so we reject Kotchin. Kotchin that became Tomei, and you burn, you may not have enough from it. The only Truma that you burn, you can have enough from it. The boy say, Makodesh Chomer, Shekein Onus Kores. You can learn simply, says the Gemara. Another reason, not without having to count up six versus four, that if a person who eats Kochim and their tome, you get kores. The person who eats truma when they're tome, you only get misa bide shamayim. The Gemara understands kores to be worse than misa bide shamayim. You don't really know, I mean, kore, what is kores? So kore, some hold, it's a person who dies before 60. Some hold that kores means you're nechras from Right? And what's Misa Bidei Shemayim? Uh, it's also Misa, uh, but it's not, it's, not, it's not, you know, you, you can have Kapara from it, exactly how is it meted out by Hashem, that's all unknown. But here, from here it seems, Araya, that Koris is worse than Misa Bidei Shemayim. Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak Omar, another shot, into why you can benefit from Truma Tmei that was burned. Omar Kra Titen Lo, you have to give the truma to the koyin. You have to give him truma to hoira. So you can give it him. Meaning, you cannot give him truma that is only going to be able to be used by him for burning. You want to give him truma that's ruy for him to eat and to do other things with, not just burning. What do we see from here, though, clearly? That there is a time where it is roy to burn. Because, because it, it's, it is applicable to be given to him to burn as well. But he can't, it shouldn't be given to him strictly only to be able to burn. You have to be able to give him truma to that he can eat it as well. Okay. Then what, in happens, the what happens if you're such a poor guy that you only have that truma that, that really has to be burned? You're not allowed to give it to him? No, you have to give it to him as well. We, we saw the Rambam said, you have to give it to him as well. But make her a din, give him truma, titen lo, 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 Give him, give him real good truma that it's not just that he can use for burning. That if he has no brain, he has to give it to him anyways. The Gmore wanted to use that just as a proof that you see you can, there is a time where the coin will burn truma. Rabbi Shmuel Oimer, Rabbi Shmuel said in the Mishnah that you could use it. You could use itron. You could use the shemen itron. Or so, excuse me, that you cannot use shemen itron. My time. On a Rav, we talk shereicho ra. It has a bad smell. Gzeira shemay yanichena viyetsi. It'll drive you out of the house because it smells so bad. And the whole purpose the Gemara is going to tell us now is for it to make the house more pleasant. And afraid to go on by the eight say, who cares? What 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 obligation is there for him to sit next to the candle and uh, and sit there and benefit from it? Let him go out. What's wrong with using Sheminitra? So Rava answers Shani Oimer had Lakas Nair Bishabis Khoiva. 
You don't understand. There's a chiyuv to have Ner Shabbos Choyva. You have to be able to eat. You have to be able to eat by the light of the candle for COVID Shabbos. It's part of Oinek Shabbos. Sha'am Rav Nachum Bar Rav Zvidah Ba'amri Lo'am Rav Nachum Bar Rav B'Shem Rav Hadlokas Ner B'Shabbos Choyva. And Rechitzas Yadayim Raglai in Bechamin Arvis is Rishus. Washing your hands and face in hot water right before Shabbos is not a choyva, it's just a rishus. But Vani Omer, meaning Rav says, it's not just a rishus, it's mitzvah, which is even more than rishus. But it's not a choyva. Now my mitzvah, washing yourself, what kind of mitzvah is that? Rav Yudha Marav, kachaya minogos Rav Yudha Bar Yiloi. Hadlakas Neiros is even more, more of a choyva than, than, than wine or anything else on Shabbos. I'm going to read, I'm going to, Walter's absolutely correct. It says like this. It says like this. Hadlakas Neir B'Shabbos, Mi Choyva Shabbosi, V'Koydemes Af L'Suda V'Lekidush. If you only have money, you don't have money to buy the Suda, the Kiddush, candles. and candles. You have to buy the candles. Kivan Shehim Me'ikar Mitzvahs Oinek Shabbos. That's what Shulchan Aruch, Arachayim, Reish Pei Gim. Let me see what else he says there. I'm reading the Shulchan Aruch again in Reish, excuse me, Reish Samech Gimel. Seiv Bez, Echad Anoshim, Echad Anoshim, Chayavin Liyot Bevateim, Ner Dolot B'Shabbos. Afin Lu Ein Lo Mayochal. Shoel Al Apsochim, has to go around to the doors and collect at the, at the doors. V'lokech Shem and Umad Lekas Aner, Shezeh Bechlal Oinik Shabbos Hu. Then he says, Shulchan Aruch in Simen Reis Samech, Mitzvah Lirchotz. That's what the Shulchan Aruch says. Says the Ramah, Called Gufo. So the Shulchanach did not say, he says, it says Lirchotz, and the Ramo added called Gufo. The in the Efshar Lo Yirchotz Pon of Yoda Baragla Bachani Bear of Shabbos. He doesn't have a bathtub, he doesn't have a shower. So he can wash his hands and feet. Umins Velochu Farosh, you have to shampoo your head, look at Lechat Si Pornai Bear of Shabbos. Remember my grandmother, every air of Shabbos, she had newspapers spread out. And she always, you know, she did my fingernails too. Says the Ramah, Vim Hayu Saras Roisha Gedolis Mitzvah Galchan. So Mitzvah to go to the barber Erev Shabbos. Uch Shunot El Tzipor Nov Loyitol, Loyitol Osan Kesidran. You shouldn't just cut, Yatchil be small. You have to start with the left hand, the Kmitzah of Yamin be Edzba. So you have to use the Kmitzah of fing these Kmitzah of fingers, the three Kmitzah of fingers. One, two, three. Because when you do kmitzah, so he says, when you cut your fingernails, you start with the left hand, the kmitzah, v'yamin be'edzba. And with the right, you do the edzba. He brings from the Abu Dram. Back to the Gemara. Kachaya minogash rabbi Yudah bar Eloi. This was the custom of the Tanner of Yudah bar Eloi. Erev Shabbos mevilo arevo bleachani. They would bring him a a a uh, a bowl of hot water. Veroche tzpan of yada veraglav. He washes hands and face and feet. Umis atev liyoshev v'sadin amutzuyotze. He would uh, put a turban on, and he would sit in a garment of flax. But he dafka put tzitzis on it. Now remember, tzitzis is made out of wool, and he was wearing flax. What does that create? Shatnes. Mm -hmm. But he did it. The Talmidim would hide their garments because they would also wear a garment made out of linen, but they did not put tzitzis on. Armorland Bni, the Chilokach Shanis Lechem, I didn't teach you this way. That Sadin, the tzitzis, let's say a person is wearing a garment made out of linen. What's the din? The gabit tzitzis. Beishamai poetry. Because since tzitzis is made out of wool, 
and linen with wool together shotness. He they held, they did not permit the shotness, even though you have a mitzvah says that it's doichi. But Basilam Achaivin, that mitzvah says that psitzis is doichi the iser shotness, like we've been learning. Mitzvah says say is doichi lo say. So you see, that's a debate between Basilam and Basilam. Vare aloch the Basilam. So Rav Yudah Bar Eloyd told his Talmudim, you don't have to hide your garments. Aloch is like Basilam. And therefore, it's Roy to put tzitzis. So the Shaili is, what is the Talmudim? What was their opinion? In Usavri, they held that even in that Torah, you can put it on because of Asay Dorchalot Asay. The Chachamim made a Gzeira, Mishum Ksus Laila. The problem is like this if you wear a pajama made out of linen, nightfall is not the time of tzitzis. So you'd be wearing shotness and you would not have the midst of tzitzis. And so they, they were goyzer not to wear any type of linen, even the daytime, because of ksus light. Then it says, a posuk in Eicha, vatiznach misholom nafshi. When I was taken into exile, I, it, I was removed from the peace of my soul. Nashiti toiva, I lost out the toiva. My vatiznach misholom nafshi. Amra vavol zu adlokas ner shabbos. This is, uh, I don't have my sholom nafshi. The, the Golos, through Golos, I can't be Makayim, Ner Shabbos. And you see, so Raya that Ner Shabbos gives Shalom to my Nefesh. And Nashit Ni Toiv, Amrav Yermezu Beis HaMerchitz. This is the ability, to, you know, going to, to no, going to the bathhouse uh, before Shabbos to take a nice bath and shower, Shvitz. Amrav Yermezu, he held Zurachitza Siddam Raglaim Bechamim. Washing your hands and feet uh, with hot water, also before Shabbos. Rav Yisak Navcha on a zumita no v'keli norshalem. That's nice bed and nice furniture on top of it, like uh, pillows and, and blankets. Rav Avam on a zumita mutzas. We're talking about a nice, nicely made bed. V'isha mikushchetes and a wife that is has cosmetics and jewelry. Mukushet is the Tamid Chachamim. That means she's roy and appropriate for Tamid Chacham. That's a, that's the Dover Toiv. Now, since we're mentioning things Dover Toiv on Rabbanon, Ezeu Ashir, so we get a different answer than we get in Pirkei Ovis. In Pirkei Ovis, we get Hasamech Bechelko. Here we get Kol Sheyesh L'Nach Asroch Ba'Ashro. Whoever has uh, Hana, he has, a, he, has, he has peace of spirit because, from whatever wealth he has. Dear Rebbe. Simen mat kas. This is just a simen of what's, you know, what's coming next. Rav Tafen Oimer, kol sheyesh lo me'akronim. This defines a wealthy person. Me'akronim, a hundred vineyards. Umea sodis and a hundred fields. Umea avadim, a hundred servants sho'ivdim bahem. That's talk a wealthy man, even in our day. If you had 100 fields, 100 vineyards with 100 servants, that's, that's a wealthy man. Rabbi Kiva, Oimer, Kol Sheyesh, Lo Isha, No, B'Maisim. That uh, uh, somebody who's rich is someone with a wife with very good midos. Good Maisim. Rabbi Yezi, Oimer, Kol Sheyesh, Lo Beis HaKis, Esomach, Lo Shulchano. He's very simple, Rabbi Yosef. <laughs> Somebody has a bathroom nearby, you're a rich man. Tiny Rabbi Yosef, Oimer, Ein Madlikin B'Tsori. Tsori was another kind of fuel. It's a sap that comes from a, some, a tree that is very perfumed. Balsam. It's got a good smell. Balsam, he says? It's in the... It's yeah, in the yeah, balsam. Balsam. Okay. My time, Oimer Rava, Mitoch Shereich Onoide. Since it's got a beautiful smell, we're concerned that the guy's gonna go into the receptacle, take some of the oil. Now the problem is if you remove some of the oil that's burning on Shabbos, you're extinguishing. So just like there's an Isra Havar, there's an extra thing of keyboard. And it's a Zera because of the boysem, we're concerned you're gonna go and get it. Okay. Yeah, I, Ernie. Yes. I just wanted to 